I just transferred my domain from GoDaddy to Squarespace to simplify my life. However, when I did that, my domain was no longer authenticated within Flowdesk. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to authenticate your Squarespace domain. This will help your emails to have a higher delivery rate, so it is totally worth a few clicks, and I hope this video is useful to you. If you have not signed up for a free 30-day trial with Flowdesk and you want to lock in for that beta rate of 50% off, the link is in the description for you guys to use. So first things first, you have to log into Squarespace and you want to head over to your settings and then your domains. And so underneath there, you're going to have two different domains. One is the domain that is managed by Squarespace and the other is the built-in domain. Every single Squarespace domain, if you pay for hosting, has a built-in option available. So whatever you choose, .squarespace.com. A quick little tip, if you click on that, you can change what that built-in domain is. And when you start a new Squarespace site from scratch, they come up with some bizarro name. So if for some reason, you know, you want to just throw up a quick website, you don't wanna pay for a domain, you can just change it and do whatever it is you want it to say, .squarespace.com. So there you go, free little bonus tip. So if we go back, we're going to click on the domain managed by Squarespace. And then that's going to pull up your options on the left-hand side. So this is my primary domain and I need to go to the advanced settings. And so this is going to show you all of the records that are hosted within Squarespace. And these are your DNS records. Now up here, you can select some options and they make it easy for you to connect to G Suite. If you wanna use a, a custom email address through Google, but what you want to do for Flowdesk is scroll to the bottom. And this is where you're going to copy over the codes that Squarespace provides you. So we're gonna go here and we get to this section of Flowdesk. We go back by clicking on the icon at the top and domain setup. Now, if we see our domain here, we need to click on view the records and start copying. So we're going to copy the first CNAME record, change it there, paste in the host, and we'll go back and copy the value. And so you need to do this for all three of them. When you're done, click add. It's going to add it to the top. And now you need to add the other two. So let's go in here, copy, paste, copy, paste, add. So not too hard to do at all. And what I like about the Squarespace platform is it makes this spot easy to find and easy to update. So when you have your three records in there from Flowdesk, what you need to do is scroll back up to the top and you have to hit save. If you close out of this before you hit save, those records will not be there. So we're gonna save that, let it think about itself, and then you just need some time to let it brew, let it percolate, let it go across the internet and then Flowdesk will recognize it, and you will see above your domain, it will change to authenticated when those records have been made available for Flowdesk to recognize. So that's a really easy thing that you can do once you create your Flowdesk account so that your emails are more likely to land in the inbox of your subscribers. So I hope you found this video useful. I realized, again, once I transferred my domain, I lost that authentication, so I thought it'd be a great opportunity to hop back in and show you guys how to do that. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I teach people how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. If you need any additional Flowdesk help, feel free to check out the Flowdesk playlist on my channel. I've got everything from sending your first email to moving your list to Flowdesk. Until next time, to top for now.